guys welcome welcome back to cooking with auntie val guys happy new year to everyone first video of 2024 y'all and the recipe that i have for you guys is very quick simple and easy and i have the great pleasure of having some company to help make this which is my niece sabrina hi and everyone <laughs> she's trying to act shy y'all she done did this before <laughs> So this should be fun. This is a recipe that she wanted to try. And I asked her could I join along and she agreed. Guys, listen, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. It only takes a smidget, midget of your time, guys. Now let's get into this video. Okay, now she's gonna tell us what all the ingredients that we're gonna have. You know, I haven't even told y'all what we're making. What is it called again? Rotel dip. Rotel dip. Mm -hmm. I'm sure y'all have seen it on mm -hmm. a few platforms. TikTok, whatnot. Facebook. Yeah. It's, it's a quick classic. Uh, we have here, we have simple seasonings, onion powder, we got garlic powder, some slap your mammy, uh, some black pepper, okay? And then as far as cheeses, you can make it however you want. Um, we're using what we got at home. <laughs> pepper jack, mozzarella, Velveeta. As far as the seasonings, we have two um, taco seasoning packs over here to add to the ground turkey that we'll be cooking. We'll be making about two pounds. Now, can you use ground beef with this too? Yeah. Okay, so uh, you have a choice. Yeah, any, any supplement. Okay. Uh, ground turkey. Uh, if you're vegan, you use tofu, whatever, whatever, whatever <laughs> floats your boat. So, as far as what you need to put in it. So, um, seasonings, of course, but inside of the actual dip, you're going to do diced tomatoes. That goes inside. Purple onion. That goes inside. These additional vegetables that you see will be used as toppings because we're turning a rotel dip into nachos. Mm. Y'all see them nachos over there? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just again to reiterate, rotel dip consists of three cheeses, meat, red onion, and then you put it all into a pan and you let it um, cook yourself. Basically, you stir, keep your eye on it, but that'll be all. All right, you guys, so you heard it. So with all these great ingredients, guys, we're going to get this video rolling. And hopefully you guys can try this out as well. And once again, thanks for joining me today, guys. And happy new year to each and every one of y'all, guys. We made it. And it's going to be the best year going forth. Okay, guys, enough talk. Let's get into this video. Okay, guys, we've gotten started. We've been cutting up our onions. And this, this set of onions is for the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is this is gonna go in the meat. We're gonna cook the meat separate. Okay, guys, well, you just pay attention. You guys know what I mean. Know what I'm talking about. But we're about as we as I speak right now. We're just cutting up what we need. We have onions in this particular pan over here too. That's gonna be for our sauce. Okay, guys, so hang in there, stay with me, and and just sit back. And Tails to go in the rotel, and you add them to the pan, like so, like that. Purple onions are already there. One in the corners. Yep. Add one in the corners. Mm. Yum, yum. Okay. Okay. Now, I thought about adding diced chili peppers to your meat when you cook, like ground turkey for tacos for nachos. Consider it because it is delicious and adds a little bit of kick. Yes, you always ask for a few though. That's garlic, though. Where? In which one? That's, 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 oh, the, no, that's the those are, uh, that I use. Oh, no, that's those are. Yeah. No, I didn't. Chilies, like so, like that. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, you can keep talking because I'm about to um, mute us on this. I said, I said, it's four and fast forward so it works faster because I can't. Um, you know, cheese, you can't slide it through. Right. Hmm. I 
Your, your granddaddy. There we go. Yeah, you can put it down the pie. Okay. Meat right here. We gotta make a, uh, probably make a, a space for it. Okay, guys, our meat is ready. So this will be the last ingredient to go. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this filled up. We're gonna pop this in the oven and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so our rotel dip. dip is ready for the oven and our oven is set for 375. We're gonna set this in there for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. For 20 minutes, guys, we'll be right back to show you our deliciousness and how it's looking. Okay, guys, we just took it off the oven and looky, looky, y'all. Now we're gonna stir this baby up all this goodness together here guys so we can show you what it's going to be looking like at the end okay go ahead We'll be using ours today uh, as a base for our nachos. Mm -hmm. mm, so the nachos will have all this goodness in it, paired with a few toppings for the nachos. Oh yeah, we got some extra toppings, y'all. To go right on top of the nachos once you put it on your plate. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we have our mission to be around. Mm -hmm. So yes. this will be nacho style, but yes, you can eat this with chips, you know. If you like pita crackers, you can eat it with that. A lot of alternatives, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's looking, smelling, delicioso. Exactly. And that is Rotel Dip in a nutshell, guys. Ooh, easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Not a lot of work. See Not a lot of work. Mm. And it's ready to go. Let's see. Our nacho, what, what is this called? Rotel dip. Rotel dip. 
is complete with our sour cream, guys. Looky, 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 guys. If you enjoyed yourself with me today, guys, and you like how I do what I do, or when I do what I do in my kitchen, subscribe to my channel, guys. Share my channel with your family and friends. And until next time, bye.